Hello everybody, happy Saturday. If you just watched our shopping haul, I had my best helper who goes with me now every Saturday. It's very dark in here because we have no lights on. And I got Theo a treat. What do you think of that treat? Good. Is it good? He's on his second bag of Paw Patrol no, chocolate chip yeah, muffins. Don't go. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> and you heard Cora whining in the background. We have to put her in her kennel when we um, are, are putting away the meat and everything because she has gotten so big, her head just gets right up on our table. And Charles just let her out. But she'll still grab at the fruits and veg too. But I still gotta finish putting this stuff away. And then we will be back with you guys. I'm gonna take Luke out um, to gather the eggs today because Theo gathered two yesterday. Um, but he still needs his bath. And then just that morning, you know, craziness. So I'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes. Uh -oh! I'm waiting to see if we get two. Nothing in that one. And nothing in that one. We're waiting to see if we get two so both boys can come out and gather an egg. But if we only get one more today, um, or one today, then that's fine too. It'll be Luke's turn to come out and gather it. How fun. I love getting eggs. So we have decided to put our order in now and we're gonna get eight more chicks. Um, we want to get some different colors so that the boys can see different colored eggs. Not that I don't really know the reason behind different colored eggs. Like if they're going to, I wouldn't assume that they taste any different. Those of you that have farms, let me know, that have like chickens, but no. I would say it's just for the color of the eggs. But I think for the boys it would be fun to say, ooh, I got a green one, I got a blue one, I got a red one, whatever. So that's why we want to just get a variety of egg layers. Of colors and if we order eight more then we should get at least a dozen eggs a day it's the plan maybe not maybe they won't lay every day some of you said some of them only lay like every other whatever um, but even if I can at least get a dozen every other day I would be happy because it takes to make eggs for breakfast a dozen of eggs for my family but in a few years, there'll only be a few of us left here, most likely. And at that point, I won't need so many eggs. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so Luke is in the middle of stuff right now. So, I'm going to bath him in just a minute. While I'm waiting, I am going to go on and cook up some of this stuff real quick. I'm going to make, for dinner tonight, I am craving just like a taco salad. So, I'm going to turn one of these into taco meat. And the other one, I'm gonna just turn into some Sloppy Joes. So we call them Sloppy Poppies, because it's my grandpa's recipe. And then these I just wanna cook up so that I've got them um, to throw in wraps, sandwiches, whatever anybody wants, just to eat, you know, um, on the side with some vegetables and rice or whatever. So I'm gonna go on and just cook this stuff up. The girls will not be home until Monday, and today's Saturday. So the four of us, um, cause it's Luke and Theo just kind of eat when they're hungry. And then Charles, Jake, Kate and I, we're going to sit down and watch a show or something like that while we're eating. We're not going to just all sit at the table. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds awful. If everybody's home, we always sit at the big table. But if I make dinner now, I don't have to make like anything else. Just people grab what they want when they want. Or like I said, Charles and I will usually sit and watch a show. Kate will sit whenever she's ready to eat and eat. And Jake likes to eat whenever he's ready. So that's just kind of how it is. If everybody's not home, we kind of take a break from the whole big sit at the table dinner and just do it. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me. my eyes I see 
We wanted female. Ten percent chance could end up with another rooster. And we took a three percent and got a rooster. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. And he is upstairs working. Are you painting yet? No, I just sanded the walls down. Okay. I just got the walls sanded down. Now I got to go wipe them down. Well, the walls and the ceiling. Well, we were picking out chickens. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> so even more certain now, once I've sanded these down, that they used an oil-based paint because where I was painting the latex paint all over the wall, it was sanding right down nice and smooth, <laughs> but I was working my rear end off to get the rest of it sanded to break through the coating, just to make it a better adherence. Mm. That is some tough paint they used. So, yeah. it's so all good. He will show you all of that. We picked out, he went and he got the paint and everything yesterday. So, we're gonna be doing all that. Can't wait to share with you guys the bathroom when it's all done. I think it's gonna be so pretty. And um, yeah, I think that's about everything for right now. We're excited. We get them on the 28th. Eight new baby chicks. They're gonna be so cute. And we tried to get, we're gonna have blue, dark brown, green, um, and just regular brown. So we'll see what we end up with. One of our chicks is supposed to already, one of our hens be an olive egger. So I only got one more olive egger, um, which is the green eggs, and we'll see. And then I got two that are supposed to give really pretty blue eggs. And then a couple really dark, almost reddish brown eggs. So I'm excited to see them all. That's so fun. Okay, so peeking on Charles. He's painting the ceiling. So why the girls are gone until Monday. <laughs> I have a happy loop. It is. The perfect time to do this because then we can be down to one bathroom without, you know, three other people. Yes, we can. I I'm can't wait. Down. You are, not really. I can't wait. It's going to look so pretty. I'm bending over backward for you. Oh, honey, that's because you love me so much. You know what the best part about doing the ceiling in here is? You can reach it. I don't have to cut in the corners because when I'm putting in crown molding, the corners are gonna get covered anyway. Oh, very true. It's gonna look so pretty when we're done. I'm so excited. But I can tell where I did not get the ceiling sanded very well because my paint is not wanting to stay stuck when I roll it. 
That could pose a problem. What about using one of your electric sanders? You have an outlet in there. I haven't shown you guys. He put an outlet in our bathroom. That's got to change, though. I we have an outlet. outlet. We but do. it has a nightlight. It has an outlet. It has a switch. I got to put in a GFCI one, though. Yes. That's which I thought you have that. You, you got it's it in, in the, the mail, right? Mm-hmm. So... Uh -huh. We're excited about that. If you guys recall, I told you none of the bathrooms had outlets. Well, that makes it a little bit harder. One, for even just like vacuuming the hall. The hall doesn't even have outlets. It does now. It does now, because then he also put in an outlet <laughs> over here in the hall. That's a couple things he's done that you guys missed. He put an outlet right here, and um, he's putting one in each of the bathrooms, little by little as we do them. Might want to actually explain why the outlet is there because that is so far up off the floor to a normal person, it probably won't make any sense. Well, because there was a thing there. Because there was a light switch there that fed the whole house fan, which doesn't exist anymore. So I thought, hey, why not just buy a split circuit? And if the power is still accessible up there, I'll use it for lights in the attic one day, which is why I went with a switch electric combo. Right, and I was a little disappointed that we don't have the whole house fan. We're not going to be able to do it. I thought, well, let's just put a new fan up there and reuse it if everything's there for it. But they actually used all the ductwork and everything for it. Isn't that what you said for our new the heating and the air. AC and all of that? So, yeah. um, you know, we don't have a whole house fan now. <laughs> That's all right. We have a humongous fan from our old house because we didn't have a whole house fan there either. So we have this huge fan that we put in one of the windows, but he doesn't think we have a window big enough anywhere for this huge fan. No, these windows are all weird sizes. They are. But the, the only window that is big enough to handle it is the one down in the room with the Floor parquet room? flooring. Oh, Luke's, or, uh, Luke's old area. Mother's area. Area, <laughs> area. Your mother's area, but that puts the fan too close to the ground, and I won't put it there because I don't no. want them getting their fingers mm -hmm. chopped off. It's a massive fan. It I mean, it like goes powerful. It's made to be a whole house fan. So there's no way. No way we would ever do that. And you have to have all the doors and everything open in order for it to work because yeah. it pulls air through the whole house and everything. So there's no way to like keep the kids. Yeah. None of the other safe. windows open wide enough for me to actually get it in the opening. Yeah, we won't do that. It would be choked out. We won't do that. Hey, your ceiling's painted. Yay. You did so good. All right, we're going to go gather some eggs. Don't throw that at your mother. Uh -oh! I hear you, Mr. Rooster. I knew he was gonna do it. <laughs> Come this way, this way. All right, Luke is going to gather an egg for us. So, in here, and then we'll let Theo get the other one. There is one in the ba in the basket. Here, look at this one. You see it in there? Yeah. All right. Take it in. Do not crack it yet. Blue, blue is my truck. Button her coat. Yeah. Oh my word. Mama, you did. <laughs> That's so silly. I, I buckled the leash around my waist so I don't have to, to hold it. Did you cold? Oh, it's just more easy. It's easier. Okay. Let's go. All right. Go, baby, go. You got it. 
<laughs> Is that too dirty? Do you need some help? Here, I'll hold your hand. Now try. Don't want to get your hands dirty. No, that'd be too crazy, wouldn't it? Okay, so now that we have laying chicks, laying hens, <laughs> Charles is showing me what he did. He finished the laying boxes. So oh, okay, good. Latch open. So we think they're banging it and knocking the latch yeah, free. Which that may stop. And what oh, do we see in there? Top. Is one in there? No, one's up top. So there's oh, okay. a ledge up here now. So uh, they can't get down into the oh, boxes. Oh, see, you can see one up in, oh, well, you guys, it's not picking it up, but yes, they're up in there. And then they have to crawl into the box. Yep. So that's your laying box. So he cut them out. He got the idea and got the exact same boxes and everything from Justin Rhodes, if any of you are familiar with him. So that is our, our boxes. So in the morning I can just come out, whoop, see what I got, and put it back in. Perfect. Easy, easy. Very easy. And I just noticed, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up either, but our rooster is really starting to get some green feathers on his tail. He's gonna be so pretty. All right, back in we go, it's freezing out here. Okay, I'm gonna go on and wrap up this Saturday video. And I'm sure how long it's gonna be or how much I got for you guys, but hopefully enough. Um, it is eight o'clock, Charles is going to paint the bathroom, which I'll share with you guys tomorrow. And, or Sunday vlog, I guess it's Sunday. I think, no, it's Saturday. <laughs> I don't even know anymore, <laughs> is that awful? Or is everybody like that, especially at eight o'clock at night? And that's my tire time, so. All right, I'll see all of you guys <laughs> soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.